Hey friends, I was inspired by a friend on Facebook in one of my art journaling groups. She would always put her time that she spent working on an art page and I asked her about it and she said that she did it as part of a challenge to uh, make sure that she was just doing something every day and not let time limits constrain her. So this is actually recorded kind of late at night. I was thinking about going to bed. I was starting to get tired, but I really just had some more creative energy I wanted to get out. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to not be a perfectionist. I'm just going to take, you know, under a half an hour and see if I can make a page and call it good. So that's what I did. And I started by um, getting my watercolors out and just filling in the whole page. Instead of creating clean lines like I normally do. I wanted to overlap them so they kind of blend together, let them drip a little bit. This uh, little circle stencil came from a energy drink that I used to drink all the time called Zip Fizz. They come in little vials. And so I, I saved these this packaging because I thought someday I'm gonna use this. So uh, here I am using it. So I'm using also uh, the, the pink ink is an acrylic ink that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just using my sponge to dab it. And then I have learned that going over um, watercolors with Mod Podge makes it easier for me to um, mark on top of. So I like putting creating that layer in between. And I just dry it just enough so it's not sticky. Um, to really be dry, it probably takes, you know, a day to leave out in the air. But um, anyway, yeah. So then I grab my Posca pens and I'm just starting to mark. And one of the things that I wanted to challenge myself with is um, breaking some of my habits. Um, they're not bad habits, but I just wanted to try some new things. So I'm doing a lot of overlapping. If you've watched some of my other abstract videos, you'll notice that I usually outline all the boundaries once I um, make my color pockets, I call them. Um, but this time I, I want to do layers. I want to overlap and um, kind of just do something different. So that's what I'm doing. And you'll also notice that I work in triangles. It just balances the page out for me. Um, so you'll see, like I have three groups of these black dots, right? And then I have three triangles. And then I did only did two groups of triangles, but I did them on the opposite sides, um, you know, upper left and lower right. So I think of, elements almost like weights and if I want to balance the page I need to put the weights in areas that will anchor it down does that make sense I think that makes sense um, so yeah so that's part of the reason for how I distribute the elements on my page so I'm probably about 15 or 20 minutes into this page and another one of my goals for the night was just to keep it simple and um, not overdo the details. I have a tendency to just want to keep going and going, which there's nothing wrong with that. That's my style. But for this particular page, I wanted to see if I could create something I was happy with in a shorter amount of time. And I do. I end up liking it quite a bit. Um, here's my little groups of three stars in a triangular pattern. <laughs> but I noticed hmm, my black seemed to be unbalanced. So I needed something black right here in this, this unblack page. But I couldn't just put one little bar of black. I had to balance that out with um, two others to make my little triangle. So I do kind of follow some rules in my head, but um, I think... Uh, who was it? Van Gogh? Picasso? So somebody said, one of those famous artists <laughs> said, know the rules so you can break them. You can do whatever you want. So this page took me 26 minutes. I hope you enjoyed watching my process and you'll come back and hang out with me again. Mm -hmm.